How is everything with Macau at the moment? Because you're quite honest about that as well, which again, I would absolutely no idea about. Has there been some brotherly love with Maco and, and what's been key to generating that? What people obviously see on the pitch is that we uh, play really well with each other. Um, we vibe off each other quite well, but if you were to say that um, we have a strong relationship off the pitch, he's a very different person to myself. Um, he's very quiet, um, very reserved. And he's usually the one in the corner. You know, if you have a best friend, they'll be laughing at all your jokes that aren't funny. He's the opposite. So if I say something that actually might be a little bit funny, he's the one at the back like, mate, shut up, will you? <laughs> he's one of those guys. He's your he's anchor. A hater. A hater. <laughs> yeah, he's a hater. But I think that probably boiled over into, um, into actual like genuine, there was a competitiveness between us where we drive each other. But I think he experienced a time in his career that he was injured. And I, I felt like um, I wasn't helping him as much as I could. And he knows it's true because, and this is how silly it is. I could not tell him what I felt like to his face. I had to tell the papers who then, who he, he's read the papers and he knows. And through that is kind of how weird our communication channels are um and also our wives and girlfriends do a lot of the talking for each other for us i think if it was uh, very serious we then would talk about it but you know all the little things that can build up to the big things uh you kind of don't approach those um i guess subjects until it becomes like a big deal and that's just the way i think tongans are from from what i know you know in tonga you're either sick or you're not so if you have a cold, you're not sick until you're in hospital with pneumonia. So there's no in between. And, and that's similar to, to relationships. So I wouldn't talk to Mako about if I've had a bad day, he'll just turn around and be like, mate, you're right. What are you wasting my time for? You know, um, until it's like a big deal where he knows he can help and have an effect, then he will step in. And that's just the way it is. Have you got someone though for that? My best time is when, I, when we go to bed, I talk to my wife when, all the lights are off and I feel like I'm talking to just a random person, but it's my wife. 